What's up? It's Ben from Watt Prep. Today, I'm going to talk about advanced barbell cycling tips for CrossFitters. This isn't suggested for actual weightlifters. This is a specific video for CrossFitters to help them move the barbell so that they can get through metabolic conditioning workouts quicker. So with that being said, obviously I'm not expecting everyone here to be an advanced CrossFitter or an advanced barbell athlete. That's totally fine. I put together a completely free training guide called the five drills every beginner CrossFitter must master to learn how to snatch. And if you want to get that, stick around at the end of the video and I'll tell you exactly where to get it. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do three different advanced tactics. One is going to help you cycle shoulder to overhead movements more efficiently. The next is going to talk about how to cycle hang cleans and hang snatches more efficiently. And then finally, we're going to talk about what happens if you need to squat with each snatch and squat which with each clean. I'm going to teach you a little trick that as long as the weight's not too heavy, it's gonna help you move through these reps way, way quicker. So with that, let's get started with a shoulder to overhead. So a shoulder to overhead, obviously, is when the barbell's on our shoulder, and then it goes overhead to be locked out. A common issue that I see with a lot of people is when they have multiple shoulder to overheads, they bring the weight down, they reset, and then they go overhead. So it might look something like this. Okay? This is an inefficient way to do shoulder to overhead because you're absorbing the weight every single time and then resetting your feet and resetting your stance. A much more efficient way to cycle is to use the barbell bounce, use the absorption of that weight to go into your next rep. So here's what it looks like. You'll notice that when I'm receiving the bar, I'll try to do it in slow motion, the bar hits my shoulders, it immediately puts me into a dip, and then I explode from the dip into my next movement. It doesn't matter whether you're doing this with push press, push jerk, or even split jerk. Yes, even split jerk. You can do this, where you're receiving the barbell, the weight of that bar pushes and compresses your body down naturally into a little bit of a dip. If you receive that with control, allow the barbell to dip you down, you can explode right into your next rep. What that means is that you're gonna spend less time under tension. You're gonna have less time with that barbell constricting your airways. You're gonna have less time with that barbell just being on your body because you're gonna get through reps so much faster. So as an example, one more time, I'll show you five reps of the wrong version of the, the slow reset. And then I'm gonna show you five reps of the touch and go. Again, this is an advanced tactic. Not everyone's gonna have the coordination to do this. So if you're not coordinated to do a push jerk, or a split jerk or a push press, don't worry about this quite yet. You just need to practice the basics. But once you get good at those basics, then we can move on to more advanced tactics like this. So here's five slow, five fast. And I'm gonna use the push jerk as an example here. There's a lot of excessive bending there. Now watch how fast it can be when you try this advanced tactic. So with that, that's tip number one, how to cycle shoulder to overheads more quickly using the touch and go or bounce and go method. Next, let's talk about advanced barbell tactic number two, and that has to do with what I call a hip clean or a hip snatch versus a traditional hang clean or a hang snatch. So here's what I mean. When people are doing hang cleans, they tend to do a correct hang clean by sending their butt back, keeping their chest proud, and generating a lot of tension in your hamstrings, and thus a lot of power, okay? So you'll see people do multiple hang cleans like this. Or even worse, sometimes you might see people drop the bar, reset, and then lean forward to do the hang clean, which is even slower. However, instead of that, I would call that a long cycle hang clean, where you're spending a lot of time in between each reps. You have a lot more time under tension where you're grabbing onto the bar. You might be generating more power because you're actually utilizing and recruiting your posterior chain a little bit more. However, if the barbell is light enough, you should be able to move through your reps a lot quicker and potentially a lot more efficiently 
by using the bounce. What I mean by the bounce is I'm gonna keep that bar really high, I'm not gonna lean my torso forward, and I'm gonna bounce the bar off my upper thigh. Check it out. So you'll notice that was really quick. There wasn't very much wasted movement. The only thing that sucks, or one of the things that sucks about this technique is you will get some impact on your upper quads. You will get some potential bruising on your upper quads. People might ask questions. However, it is still a much more effective way to cycle through things like hang power cleans or even hang squat cleans or hang snatches or hang power snatches. Here's another example, let's snatch. So here would be a traditional hang snatch where I'm recruiting posterior chain. You can see I'm spending quite a bit of time in between each rep. Or if I do the bounce method with the high hang, you can see how much more quickly I'm able to move through each rep. Again, this technique is not for everyone. If you're just learning how to do the clean and the snatch, I wouldn't add this complexity into your training. But if you're feeling comfortable with the clean, comfortable with the snatch, and you're looking to figure out how to cycle through these hang movements a little bit quicker, workouts like DT or other workouts that come from the hang, you might be surprised at how quickly you can move through each rep. So again, you'll notice that when I'm bringing the bar down, whether it's with the snatch or the clean, I'm trying to keep my torso vertical. I bend at the hip, which creates a little bit of a shelf with my quads. So my upper quads create a shelf for the barbell to hit, and then natural reflex of the bar and also bouncing off your quads kind of accelerates the bar back up as I extend my hips. So that bar comes down, it hits, I extend, and if you get the timing right, it's a very, very nuanced timing. If you get the timing right, that barbell will catapult itself back up, and it actually is probably gonna feel easier and stronger, at least for the first few reps. Eventually, you will tire yourself out with this, but if you can find that sweet spot of moderate weight and moderate rep schemes, you'll be able to blaze through reps a lot faster. So again, let's do three or four reps of traditional versus three or four reps of this new advanced tactic that I'm showing you. So there's four. As you can see, it's almost incomparable how much faster this high hang or this bounce clean or bounce snatch is compared to the longer, slower version of the hang snatch or the hang clean. Okay, let's move on to advanced barbell cycling technique number three. And this is the squat stance clean or the squat stance snatch. Here is what I'm talking about. Oftentimes, I notice that when people are doing multiple squat movements, so squat clean or squat snatch or hang squat clean or hang squat snatch, it might look like this. And just for simplicity, I'll demonstrate from the hang. Let's say it's just traditional hang cleans. We won't mess with the high hang quite yet. You can see that every time I'm doing the clean, I'm resetting my feet. So watch my feet specifically here. When I'm doing the hang clean, I'm lowering the bar, and then I jump and I land in a squatting position. So you'll notice my feet are a little bit wider. As I stand, a lot of people waste a decent bit of time resetting their feet in between each rep. So the problem that happens is especially when we get tired, that's a lot of moving pieces. You're not only moving the bar and trying to execute a good clean or a good snatch and pass through that squat, but at the top of each rep, you have to do a little dancing with your feet, and sometimes it gets slow, it gets sloppy, and it gets inefficient when we're tired. So if the barbell is light enough and you don't need to utilize the jump and land, so I don't need to utilize all the power of my legs by jumping and landing in a squat position, what you can do to make these reps cycle even faster is to actually clean or snatch from your squatting stance. 
Now, you will be sacrificing a little bit of power. That's why I wouldn't recommend this if the weight's super heavy for you. But if you're trying to get through a lot of hand cleans or a lot of cleans and snatches where you have to pass through the squat, if I have my feet in this nice wide stance, watch how much more efficient it is. My feet stays glued to the ground and I actually don't even have to jump and land. So there's no reset at the top. It allows me to cycle through and all I have to think about is moving the barbell. I don't have to think about resetting my feet each time. Again, wouldn't do this if it's super heavy, but for both snatches and cleans, if either of them need to pass through a full squat, I highly recommend with moderate weight and moderate to high rep schemes, keep your feet glued to the ground in a squatting stance. And you might be surprised at how efficiently you're able to get through without too much wasted movement. You are sacrificing a little bit of power. I wouldn't jump with my feet super wide. That means I'm, I'm missing a little bit of power, but the power that you're lacking in that jump position, it's gonna be sacrificed or you're gonna be able to make that up by not having to move your feet a ton in between each rep. So try it for yourself. And again, this is not for people who are still trying to work on the clean and the snatch. This is for people who already have these movements down, they're already efficient and they're trying to eke out a little bit more speed and efficiency for bigger set Metcons. So in this video, we covered how to become more efficient with touch and go shoulder to overhead. Next, we talk about how the high hang or the, the hip clean or the bounce clean or whatever you wanna call it, catching that barbell high without any hinging can make you move through hang movements a lot quicker. And then last, we talked about how potentially doing your pull from a squat stance will allow you to cycle through reps even quicker. So those three things were covered. If you want, as promised, I put together a guide for you. If you want to learn the five top snatch drills that every beginner CrossFitter should know, go to wadprep.com slash snatch, or click the link in the description or the top comment below, and I'll send you that to your email completely free. And if you're someone who's really looking to advance your weightlifting technique, I don't care if you're a beginner just getting used to touching a barbell, or if you're already an advanced level CrossFitter who wants to keep leveling up, we put together a comprehensive course called Wad Prep Weightlifting. I don't know if it's open when you're watching this video. We will only be opening enrollment for short periods of time to focus on the athletes inside. But if you wanna to check to see if it's open right now or maybe get yourself on the waiting list, click the link below for Wad Prep Weightlifting. Again, it's a super awesome course that's gonna help anyone from beginner to expert level up their weightlifting. Last but not least, question of the day. We covered three different techniques with a couple of nuances in them. What's one technique that you are not going to try yet because you still need to practice your coordination? And then what's one technique that you're excited to try? So what's one you're not gonna try quite yet because it's too advanced for you? And then what's one that you're like, you know what, I'm gonna try that in my next workout that this presents itself. Leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.